getting closer and closer and now that we've revealed the gender we're having a baby boy i'll show you what we've been working on there's still a mess but the nursery is painted new blinds are up we got the crib right here we got the stroller right there we got the babysitters right here right you me such good big brothers and the playpen right there we got the the car seat installed in the terrain today yeah. got it installed by her friend who is uh, certified in that the only one in town who's certified to install car seats and the bases into vehicles so she told us exactly exactly how to do it Big help. thanks Linz. now we know the baby boy will be safe everywhere we go but now one more thing we need to put in here yet because when i'm on the road uh, i will be taking several weeks off to help brit after uh, the c-section but after a while i'm gonna have to get back on the road and go back to work so we may have some family members that come and stay with us hey chevy and so they need a place to sleep too but we don't have a lot of room in here for a second bed because the crib will be over here we're going into Dufresne Furniture right now in town to get a nice hide-a-bed. So there'll be a nice little couch in here with a hide-a-bed that'll fold out for when guests come over to sleep or when we have family members coming over. Grandparents and nephews, basically. Yeah. <laughs> we need a, a second bed in the house. We only have the two bedrooms. We will eventually have a bigger house. But for now, we're making do with what we have. Probably within the next yeah, year or two. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon we'll have a nice bigger house. I haven't told the vlog yet, actually, about the land. May as well just reveal everything. We're having a boy, and we sold our land. <laughs> it's gone. Big changes. We're staying in town. We actually had a little bit of a bidding war on it, so we got a pretty good price on it. We got what we wanted. We're happy. Uh, we decided that we want to be close and in town with all the services and conveniences of town with a baby. Why are you crying? You know we're about to go shopping without you. Can you cramp up your room some more? It's not going to be <laughs> your room much longer. Go lay on your bed, buddy. Should we lay on your bed? He's anxious. Yeah. Anyways, we're headed out and uh... I need you to reach my shoes. I have this thing called a, a height problem. Height problem. And a human inside there. A human. Little baby boy. And he's pretty dinky. Either that or he's really squished because I'm not very big. Yeah, we both thought that she'd be a little bigger at this point. For sure. There's only three weeks or so. Three, three maybe four. four weeks. And uh, baby will be here. Where is... And yes, we do have a name picked out, but we got to leave something as a surprise. It's really hard to hold back. But yeah. We're holding back on this one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to know the name on the birthday. Yes. But... Right. First, I have to get this all finished. I have a few little patches. You probably saw on the wall. I gotta paint those over later. Sand them down. Chevy, we will be right back. Okay? We're getting you a couch with a bed in it. Okay. Let's get this water bottle out of your way here. Some stuff in here. Yeah, we want to stay in town, uh, close to the hospital, just in case. We don't want to be way out in the boonies. We'll see you later, Chevy. Okay? You guys be good. Be right back. We, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we want to be closer to town, closer to the services, closer to the hospital. When I'm on the road, it just, it's better that she, uh, and is... more conveniences. Yeah. More peace of mind for him, too, while he's gone. Yeah, because if, like, what if baby gets a fever, and it just snowed three feet, and she can't get the vehicle out of the garage, way out there, the roads don't get plowed right away. Here we have snow clearing, we have garbage pickup, we have town water, town sewer. Grocery stores. Grocery stores right nearby. We have family that are right nearby. And it's the convenience part it got us. So we're country at heart, but we're going to be buying a house uh, in town Logi instead. Logically, you know, our, our parent switch is flipped on. We realize this was best for him. As much as we dream of living in the country, it's about him now, not about us. 
And as they get older too, they'll make friends and they'll be closer to their friends this way. Parks. There's, there's parks, there's playgrounds. Bike trails. Bike trails, walking paths. It's, we, we want to stay in town. Best for the little man and any kids to follow. But we are going to get a nice like suburban house so with a nice yard, nice fenced yard for the dogs. And you know, we'll just be those typical, typical suburban, little typical suburban family. Nothing wrong with that. Nice and quiet. All right, Britt got these new shoes. Do you need both or just the one? Is oh, there two I, up there? I got there? two feet, yeah. Is there, where's the other one? Oh. It's in there somewhere. I just kind of threw them up there. Oh, I see. Yes, he just tossed them up there. And you want to tell them why these are so special? You got these from Jim. Yes, from Jim. Have you guys seen these advertised online, Kizix? I see them all over the place. Anyways, so. Number one, I'm very little and I have a lot of babies smushed into a very small space. So bending over sucks right now. It's pretty painful. He likes to live up in my rib cage. Um, and I'm getting a C-section, right? So these you just literally step into and they got rabbit foam technology. So the backs just pop right back up. Check it out. And they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh, I highly recommend these for anybody with like arthritis or or uh you know knee problems or you know back problems if you have trouble bending over or missing a limb you know something like that definitely get a pair of Kizix. very comfortable they're not sponsoring us or anything we're not no. doing an ad although if they want we're to give like me a free pair of shoes i'm cool with it <laughs> <laughs> they are amazing i love them so much i want to get another pair eventually but Eventually. They're a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, they're worth it. I don't want to split a C-section scar or anything or incision. Kizix, how do you spell that? K-I-Z or Z in America. I-K-S. K-I-Z. I-K-S. Kizix. It's Z. Proper English way. The Queen's Eng the King's English. We have King. King's English. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. So we went and we got a hide-a-bed. It's a queen. It was the most comfortable mattress we could find or the one with the most comfortable mattress we could find. Any hide-a-bed's not gonna be that comfortable. So we're gonna get a nice, a nice topper for it to make it nice and soft and comfortable to sleep on. But this way we can fold the bed up in that room and not have to uh, worry about taking up all that space. But you know us, we couldn't just go in there and buy a couch and hide-a-bed, no way, no, no. We also bought a freezer. <laughs> Stand up freezer. So I've got to uh, open this up right now, make sure there's no damages to it. I have 48 hours to uh, report anything. But we're gonna get this set up in here just for extra storage for food because we only have that little freezer at home. This would usually be going in our house, right? That one day when we have a bigger house, it'll go in the house, but we don't have room for it right now. So we're gonna put it in here. And that way we can at least stock up a little bit because you know, the past couple of years have taught us that they can just shut down the world if they feel like it. And if that happens again and you're only left with like two days of food in your freezer, you know, it makes people panic a little bit. So for peace of mind and just for storage, just literal, we need place to put food. Freezer. All right. You want to hold these for me, Old Blue? Thanks, bud. It's a little bit chilly in here right now. I just moved Old Blue out of the shop just to squeegee out some of the water that had melted, the snow that had melted off. Uh, get it out of here. So now it's kind of cold in here. I've got the heaters on, we're heating the place up, but uh, let's get this box off of here. It's my nice jacket. I don't want to get my nice jacket all dirty. Hey, you like my shirt? Britt got it for me. I keep all my dad jokes in my database. See if I can figure this out. Oh, come on. One try, come on. Careful with knives, kids. How does this thing open? Huh. Huh. Seems to be hinged on both sides. Does it just lift up? 
I think it just lifts right up, doesn't it? Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I was right. I can't believe I was right. I'm glad I got that on video. Someone tell my wife I was right about something. <laughs> oh, it's facing the other way. Okay, well, you guys, you guys get a good first glimpse at the back of it. We're not gonna drop this on all blue. Okay, this is, uh, wow, that's really high up there. Okay, okay, it's starting to lean. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna, okay. Okay, don't fall in the loop. All over there. Okay. Timber. Oh, oh, okay. Woo! Put it on like a big top hat. <laughs> a great hiding spot. Hide and seek champion right here. I got all the greatest stuff. Hiding spots, great ideas. Follow me for more great hiding ideas. Hide and seek champion. All right, so here's the goods. I'm not gonna plug it in till tomorrow because I I transported it here on its back. So, got to give it 12 to 24 hours. I'll give it 24. Ta-da! What's this? Oh, styrofoam. Right there. All right. Do you open? Why don't you open? Are you locked? You open from this side? Ah, you open from this side. Ooh, fancy. I love buying stuff a little too much. Come on. All right, you gotta come off too, bud. There you go. There you go. Okay, you guys wanna see it? Ta-da! Oh, smells like a new fridge. Interesting, eh? Yeah, I don't want to. Be nice to old blue. Okay, there we go. See? Nice stand up freezer. Apparently, according to the energy guide, estimated yearly energy cost is $51. There's the box. I'm going to keep it for 48 hours, uh, just in case I need to return it. I'm not going to plug the freezer in yet. Like I said, I'm going to plug it in tomorrow. Make sure it works. At 48 hours, make sure it all works. And there it is. I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to put some rug or something in here yet, because it's going to want to bump that in there. Just got to be careful in there. Yes, we can store some more food. And eventually, like I said, we're gonna, we'll have a bigger house and this will go in the house for now, right there. And this is all our stores that will again, go in our house once we have a bigger house. We don't know when that's gonna be yet. Hopefully sooner than later. But since we have such a small house and we got a little one coming, we want as little clutter as possible. The shop's a different story, that's okay. As long as I can still fit old blue in here, no problem. That mattress is going to the dump. That box is going to the dump at 48 hours. Just organize this a little bit more. There's always stuff to do, right? And then eventually I could always build a, you know, like a second, like, like a shelf for stuff here as well. Yeah. Then as soon as we have, like I said, bigger house, all of this will go away and, and fill that up with tools and stuff. 
All right, let's go back to the house. Our couch that we bought, or hide-a-bed couch, is gonna be delivered in a few days next week. Oh my, this is what I came home to. Yummy. Cheese. Hey, you got a quesadilla over there, man. You got lots of cheese in there. Mmm. Oh, this cheese. So, I'll quickly show you what my project is for today, and then I'm gonna come and eat that. Like I was saying, the nursery is almost done. It's all disorganized right now. Room is painted. Stroller is set up. Car seats, which is detachable, is now... Uh, the base of it is properly installed in our terrain. Uh, Britt's friend, I think we told you already earlier, is a certified uh, car seat specialist, is what I'll call her. She's the only one in town, and she helped us make sure it was in there properly, and that we knew how to do it. We bought that lamp there for some soft light in the corner. We got that set up. We've got the swing set up here. That is my project for tonight. That's the crib. Get that set up. That's a playpen down there as well. I'd like to get that done, but I don't even know if I'd be able to get that done today. Well, we'll see what, what we can do with this. That's the projects. There's a weasel right here. Oh yeah, some laundry hamper we got for the baby as well. And all this baby stuff in here. Oh, I gotta get this thing out of here too. Gotta bring that to the shop. All that. Everything else is coming together. Coming together. All right, let's go eat. I'm hungry. Here we go. Daddy doing more daddy things. Dadding so hard. Ready to go. Look, it's almost done. Got a piece put together. Yeah. It's impressive. Practically done. <laughs> it's going pretty good. Here's the other pieces. The instructions are in understandable English, so that's very helpful. Way to go, dream on me. Stamp of approval. We're almost there. Just about. Your poor knees and back. Yeah, I'm doing all right. He's got a bad right knee. But he's powering through like the amazing daddy that he is. We're Six. debating. Oh. Thing's huge is what I was gonna say. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, because the change table on that side. We're debating doing a second blue wall. So one blue wall, two blue wall. Because this wood would really look nice against the blue, and that's what we had planned on at yeah. first, was having the crib against that blue wall with his name over it and all kinds yeah. of like pictures and stuff. But now that the hide bed's coming, it's gonna fit much better and go better in on that wall, which means the crib is gonna go on this wall, but it's gonna be pretty bland even after I fix all these. Well, we got some Sesame Street nursery artwork mm -hmm. that'll brighten it up, but. Bland, but uh, I, I don't think know. it would look better with a blue wall over here. I'm kind of one of those more blue the better kind of people. I like well, blue. Blue, blue, gray, gray, white doors for the closet, white trim. Yeah. I think it would look I think it'd look, it'd look good. good. I don't mind. This is just a big open wall. There's, there's nothing there except for those window screens. <laughs> those won't be there for long. And I, yeah, it's just... And I gotta paint, right, touch this up anyway. Yeah. So I just sand it down and just... Blue. 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 Here we go. The final piece. And we got the whole crew in here to celebrate. They're all very confused as to why we're hanging out in here. We never spend time in here. Diesel said he'd help. So far, he's just been there for moral support. Oh, right. So I guess it isn't the final piece, but it's the final piece that you'll notice. Yeah, the shelves are in the back. Why do you look so sad? So you're losing your room? <gasps> to the baby? 
<laughs> You're gonna get a kid out of the deal. He won't be a baby forever. Okay. Here we go. Big moment. Technical I difficulty. I knew the last one would be difficult. There we go. Bah, 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 bah. Little pieces of styrofoam everywhere. Blah. There she be. She just needs a mattress and her bedding. And a change table. Uh, the crib is a curve for some reason. Yeah. yeah. The change table some, pads over there. Some shelving around on the back here. Yeah. Papers and stuff, I guess. I, can, I gotta put those in yet. Yeah. But there she is. In all her glory. Ready for little man to sleep in. Kind of. And there it is. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but it makes sense seeing it now that it would be this big. It's got the change table and drawers off on the side. I don't know if we explained this earlier in the vlog already. I'm a little tired, so I don't remember what we've all told you, but we're actually not gonna be leaving the crib there. That was the original spot for it. We're gonna put the hide -a bed there. Leave that wall blue. I have to patch up some paint here anyways, like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna paint that wall blue. Have we explained that already? So we're gonna have blue and blue. The hide -a bed is almost like a, a beige-ish white color. It's, we're gonna have to be very careful not to stain it. But it'll go well with the trimming and everything in here. And with the wall blue over there, and this being wood, I think it'll look pretty good. I just got everything moved out of the way right now because I want to take a picture of it in here for the family and stuff and for our friends to show them, show them what I did today. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. It was a lot of fun, got a lot done. Got our car seat installed in the train. I didn't show you that today yet. I'm gonna show you that in tomorrow's video, but it's all installed in there, with the crib set up. Uh, when I painted this, I noticed that I had missed a few like holes and stuff, so I wanted to patch that up real quick. Now that we're changing the color of the wall anyways, it's Take care of that either tomorrow or probably next weekend. What else did we get done? It was a productive day. Oh yeah, we bought the, uh, we went out shopping, we bought the hide -a bed and we bought the stand-up freezer. Got the stand-up freezer uh, put into the shop. I gotta go there in the morning, plug it in yet. So yeah, productive day, got a lot done. Now it's time to uh, relax a little bit before going to bed and getting up tomorrow doing some more stuff. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Big variety of content on this channel. Go to my playlists on my main channel page. Just click my username, it'll take you to my channel page. Go to my playlists. I have each year of vlogs uh, separately uh, listed in different playlists, or you can watch them all right from the beginning. I have well over 10 years worth of videos, like almost, almost daily videos on my channel here. There's a lot if you're new. Go you check that out, and uh, don't forget, like I said, hit that subscribe button on the way out. You take care.